I thought that I would read just a little section of, from Just Kids, which I wrote um, about my friend, the artist Robert Maplethorpe. And this is uh, 1968, maybe it's September, October, no, October, October, 1967. And um, yes, we were walking together in Brooklyn. The leaves were turning burgundy and gold. There were carved pumpkins on the stoops of the brownstones on Clinton Avenue in Brooklyn. We took walks at night. Sometimes we could see Venus above us. It was the shepherd star and the star of love. Robert called it our blue star. He practiced forming the T of Robert into a star, signing in blue so that I would remember him. I was just getting to know him. He was searching, searching consciously or unconsciously for himself. He was in a fresh straight, fresh state of transformation. He had shed the skin of his ROTC uniform. He did not wish to be in the military. And when he did shed it, he shed also his scholarship, his commercial path, and his father's expectations of him. At 17, he had been infatuated with the prestige of the Persian rifles, their brass buttons, and their highly polished boots and braids and ribbons. It was the uniform that attracted him, not war, not being a soldier. Just as the robes of an altar boy had drawn him to the altar. But Robert's true service was to art, not to church, or country, his beads and his dungarees and his long curly hair and his sheepskin vest represented not a costume, not a pose, but a true expression of freedom. where the 
wind blows. Just a dying, drying 